Hey guys, it's Liquid Wi-Fi here, and I am going over the setup tutorial for The Simpsons Hint and Run for PC version. Uh, this will cover the frame limiter, the no loads timing, the auto splitter, and the hotkey binding. Um, the first thing I'm going to go over is the frame limiter. So, first thing you want to go to is go to this website up here. Um, I'll have the link in the description. Everything that you need will be in the description. You want to go to this website, click download in the first one. And what it will do is it will bring up a file, open the exe in the in the folders, and it will come up with this. Um, it will have some things ticked. I think it has aspect ratio, bug fixes, screenshots, some other stuff ticked. Um, everything in here except for borderless and frame limiter are banned. Aspect ratio support is under discussion. Um, I don't know what that's at at the moment. Um, borderless is just preference if you don't like playing with the border, but the frame limiter is the one that matters. You want to right click, go to settings, and I have mine set to 122. What your frame rate is set at is entirely preference, um, but the higher your frame rate... Okay, so the way that The Simpsons hit and run works is that when you hit, say, a ledge or a jump, how far you go is dependent on the frame rate. So the physics are tied to the frame rate, which is a stupid way to develop a game, but that's how they did it. Um, the higher frame rate is, the more speed you'll get, which is not always necessarily a good thing. Um, some people play on 60, some people play on 120. I just play on 122. You don't want limit, you don't want either of these ticked. Um, but yeah, just mess around with it in games. Find which one's your favorite, which one you like best. And after that, you want to go to Open, Launcher Settings, Advanced, and in here, you want to go to Browse and find your Simpsons EXE file. Um, you want to double click that and click OK, and then click Launch. And what that will do is it'll bring up the game with the frame limiter enabled. So you can get rid of that. Um, next thing I'm going to go over is how to set up the auto splitter. So when you have live split, you set up all your splits and everything. It'll say the Simpsons hit and run at the top. You just type that in. Um, it doesn't matter about the category. And right here it'll say auto splitting and load removal are available by Zoton2 and Pessimistic Mango. Um, all you have to do is click activate, go to settings, and here you go. Just tick, uh, just tick whatever your preference. If you want every mission split, you can tick all of the missions. If you just want level splits, you just tick the last one of each level, so like level three. <clears throat> so this will split for every mission in level one, and then it'll split for just the last mission in level two, three, and four, how I've set it up. Now, some people do have a problem with this where it won't actually like work for whatever reason. It's sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't. If it does, click deactivate go to website and it'll bring up github all of zoton's uh auto splitter for lots of pc games family guy gta 3 gta 5 san andreas hit and run watchdogs a bunch of stuff you just want to download this as a zip file and then you open it double click here and you want to just drag this onto your desktop or somewhere easy to find see i've got it on my desktop down here and then once you've done that, you want to get out of this, right click or edit layout, and then add in to control scriptable auto splitter. Double click, browse, and find where you've put it. I've put it just here. And the same thing will show up and it should work. So if, you, if it doesn't work through the edit splits, try it through this. Now I'm going to go over getting uh, the no loads to work. So what you want to do is you want to go to livesplit.org, go to components, go to alternate timing method, and then click download. Or click this and it'll bring up a zip file. And then you want to keep this up. You want to find where your live split directory is. I have put mine on my desktop. Most of the time you'll have yours in 
uh, the D drive or the C drive. Um, but yeah, when you find it, when I can find it uh, here, you want to go to components and then just drop it into here. I already have mine in here. And then restart live split. So when you restart it, go to edit layout, add, and then in information, it should say alternate timing method and just add that in. And that's all you have to do. You can rename it to game time, real time, whatever you feel like. Um, now, if you want to have it, so then this main timer here is real, uh, game time rather, go right click, compare against, and then just select game time. See if I go to real time, it'll change to something slightly higher, 33, 35. If I go back, it'll change to 33, 12. And then the last thing that you're going to want to get is a program called joy to key Just Google joy to key or go to this website, again in the description, and just download the latest version for free. And then once you do that, it's sort of like WinRAR, by the way, where it tells you to buy it, but you don't actually buy it. Um, once you download that, you just open the program. And what it will do is... So what that will do is it will map buttons completely randomly, depending on what control you have. As you can see, I have the joysticks, D-pad, triangle, X-square, circle. So I use a PS2 controller. What you want to do is you want to find the button that's mapped to start. So that's button 10 for me. Normally it will say disabled, but what you do is you want to click on this one, push escape and then click OK. And as long as you have this program open, as long as you don't close it through here, um, it will work. So you don't have to worry about having that up all the time. And now whenever you push start, it will register as escape. But that is essentially all you need to get started with hit and run. Um, if you have any questions, you can message me on Discord. Uh, Twitter, Twitch, um, pretty much anything, reply to this message, or reply to this video rather. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.